Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomery here on this Friday with this morning mountain weather update. I thought we'd take a look at the weekend and in most places in the lower 48, especially the Intermountain West, it is going to be a spectacular weekend to get up high. All right, radar this morning, a little bit of leftover precip up there in Washington and parts of BC. That's going to be fading until the next storm moves in probably Sunday into Monday. But for the lower 48, I mean, it is going to be a dry forecast for quite some time. Here's water vapor satellite imagery. So again, on this, your drier air aloft is gonna be in the oranges and the reds. And I mean, look at all of this dry air in place across the Intermountain West, across the West Coast. Your moisture is gonna be here in the whites and in the blues. So the storm track right now is carrying everything up into the Pacific Northwest and BC. So whatever's upstream, gets bounced and carried all the way up into those areas, including Alaska and the Northwest Territories. But for everybody else in the lower 48, it's just all about this big area of high pressure. Now, there's our remnants of what was Hurricane Helene, now moving through the Carolinas and Tennessee with just historic amounts of rain. Um, so those are the highlights as of right now. Let's jump into this forecast. Here are my bullet points, and these are almost the same for the last few days. Storm track's going to favor the Pacific Northwest and BC for probably the next seven to nine days. The, the, most of the precip that hits BC, it's going to be high elevation snow with valley rains when these storm systems move through. And you can see the freezing levels, the rain snow line, six to 7,000 feet. For the Intermountain West, um, the golden days of fall roll on with high pressure, uh, for most of the Intermountain West, again, for quite some time, you know, yesterday it looked like we might bring a little bit of a trough, a little bit of a dip in the jet around 10-4, 10-5. Today, that's a lot less impressive. And I'll show it to you. There's still a little something there, but that's coming up. I want to look at this. So this is for Berthoud Pass in Colorado. This will be for this weekend. This is the forecast. A vertical slice of the atmosphere, humidity, relative humidity values in the... Um, in the atmosphere. And what I see when I look at this, the yellow and oranges, dry air. The upper atmosphere is completely capped off with dry air. Um, th there's nothing to worry about. If you're gonna be climbing high in Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, this is what you're gonna be facing. Dry air and stable conditions, especially if you're climbing in the morning. Um, and then the afternoon, you might have a little bit of cloud buildup and just a little bit more wind. But this is a very stable forecast uh, for this time of the year. All right, let me show you what the jet forecast is going to look like. So there it is by late today. Again, the storm track running all the way up into the Pacific Northwest and uh, BC. All right, there's Saturday. There is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, and there's Wednesday. Again, there's probably a couple of different storm systems that run through BC during this time frame. Now here's 10-4, 10-5. You can see a little bit of a dip in the jet kind of rolls through Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, and then it kind of, it's more of a glancing blow and then it moves away. So it's not as pronounced as what we were looking at yesterday. Looking at the jet moisture or looking at the total moisture overall, here's the radar and satellite. So there it is by 5.30 today. You can see some precip very high to the north there, up in parts of BC. All right, here's Saturday. There's Saturday afternoon. There's Sunday, another little storm system comes through BC and rolls away. And there's Monday, another little uh, storm up in BC. I mean, so everything's very far to the north. There's Wednesday, there's Thursday. All right, now here's 10-4. Yesterday we had, I had the storm coming further to the south. Today it's a little further to the north. So it, it's really more of a glancing blow. Yesterday it looked much more uh, impressive, but not today. Um, okay, let's look at the snow forecast. So here it is, totals through 10.6. Uh, most of it's at the highest of elevations, above six to 7,000 feet up there in parts of BC. A little bit clipping parts of uh, Big Sky, Montana. Again, that's very late in the period though. Um, yesterday was more impressive. Let me zoom in on that. So those areas, again, most of the snow is going to be up there in BC over the higher elevations. And, and snow, we're talking snow all the way up into, you know, potentially the Northwest Territories uh, with this type of pattern. So there you go. A look at the weekend. Again, very dry. I'll end on this slide. Just, you know, the, the atmosphere over Colorado and Utah and Wyoming this weekend is just dominated by dry air. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Be safe out there, and we'll talk again later.